Okay, one thing I noticed when I was finishing up this build is when I looked inside, let me zoom into what I'm talking about here, I saw some extra USB headers. And the USB headers are these three blue things right here. One, two, three. And what that means is that for each of these plugs, you could put in an extra two USB ports, but that requires a an adapter and so I use a lot of USB ports and instead of having a lot of USB hubs laying around I said well let me go ahead and install um, USB ports into those three uh, we already used this USB header uh, over here for these two up here on the front panel and remember that we also installed these USB 3.0 ports up there so what I'm going to do is uh, I ordered off of Amazon, let me show you two different bags here. This one uh, they call a, a USB plate and let me show you that one. This USB plate here has four USB ports and two header plugs on it. I'm being my own cameraman today so I'm sorry. if. Uh, <laughs> if my camera work is going to be horrible today. So these two plugs go into two of those three holes and they're going to provide us with four uh, USB ports. Now I ordered another one. This one, Cables Unlimited USB Bracket Header Adapter. And if you go on Amazon or anywhere else, I did a search for USB PCI Bracket, I believe, and a few different options will come up. Um, this was going to give me another two ports and what I was hoping when I ordered this is that it would have one of these plugs to go into one of those holes. Instead, here's what it came with. It came with two smaller plugs and I, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you what you can do with these. So these, these headers on the motherboard are what you call nine pin headers and these plugs have nine pins. I know that's blurry, but um, there are two rows of five pins, but one of them is blocked off here. That's to make sure that you plug it in the right way. These are called five pin plugs. And let me pull them out a little bit so maybe, maybe this camera will focus. If I put my hand behind it, maybe it'll focus. There we go. Um, and these each have five pins, and so um, the question arises, can you use these on one of these nine pin plugs and how would you put it on there? The answer is yes to both of those. Uh, well, yes to the first. Let me show you how you do that. Uh, on a USB, let me lay these down here on the desk. Maybe the camera will focus a little better. On these USB plugs, the red pin and the white pin are used to carry your data. So you have to make sure that those get plugged into something. The green pin carries the power typically and you see there are two black wires there. The two black wires are ground wires and only the first one on the left is really necessary. The one on the right, the second black ground, isn't really needed. You don't have to have that. And so when you plug it in, let me zoom into the actual header on the motherboard and let's pray that this is going to zoom the right way. There we go. You can sort of see that. Okay, that's about as clear as it's going to get. We're centered on one of those USB headers and you see that on the bottom right there's a pin missing. And so it's on that right side. If there's a Webby Award for the worst camera work, feel free to nominate me for it. So whenever you look at yours, you'll notice that on the right side of these headers uh, is where one of the pins missing. And where the pin is missing is the side where you want these black, the black pin to be because there are two of them and you only need one. Okay? So ho hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is tape these two together so that they look, instead of being 
you know, just the skinny five pin. I'm going to tape them together so that they're double thickness like this blue one is. And then I'm going to plug them in there. And again, you want to make sure that both red pins are together on the same side. Both black pins are together on the same side. And I'm going to tape them together and plug them into uh, the USB hole. And again, just to make sure that I explain that <coughs> clearly enough, one of these black pins, the two black pins are going to be on the right side, and one of them isn't going to hook to anything, but that's okay. Because again, these two, two pins are redundant. So let me tape those up, and then I'll show you how to put those in there. Okay, so I took those two black five pins and I just taped them together with a piece of tape. Now what I'm going to do is decide where on the back of the case here, where is it that I want these USB um, headers to be. And we're going to remove one of these metal plates here to put them in. I guess what I'll do is um, put them toward the and I'll kind of put them toward the middle here. It's not really important. We have a lot of a lot of spaces that we could choose from here, so I'll just put them in the middle. I can always move them up or down if I decide that they're getting in the way of something. So we just have a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to remove two of these little plates here. And then these little metal plates are going to slide right in there, right where those go. And you want to keep those screws so we can screw it back in. Nothing to it really. I didn't take that screw all the way out. Let me see if I can slide that one in there. Nope. I'm going to have to take it out all the way. Alright. <clears throat> That's in there good enough. And then we're just going to take these little plugs and plug them into those three USB headers. And voila, we're going to have uh, six more USB ports. You just want to make sure that you plug them in there nice and snugly. Wiggle them in a little bit. Let's see. And again, make sure that that little hole, or where, there's, where there isn't a hole on the 9-pin header, goes where there isn't a pin and that's what's nice about those plugs is they'll only go in one way. That's why they have the nine pins instead of ten. Alright and then now we can slide around to the back here and you can see those extra six USB ports that we're going to have on the back. And uh, now I'll come back with one video and I'll show you how it looks all put together and show you a couple other little things that I did. Well, we might as well go ahead and, and do this now because uh, it's only going to take one minute. You'll see that I cleaned up a lot of these cables here. I'm also going to clean up these USB cables and I'm going to tie them together just a little bit um, so that they're just a little neater right there. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention to you that I did is I put in a storage box here. If you've been watching these videos, you'll notice that we had three five and a quarter inch um, panels here. And in one we put our DVD drive. The other one we put in that extra USB 3.0 uh, front panel header, so that's nice and convenient. I had an extra one, so what I did is I bought a storage box here and this storage box it just screws in exactly as if it were a um, DVD player but instead of just having nothing in that space now we have a little box that we can store DVDs and and I like to store um, card readers and other things uh, extra cable ties in there and then I just stuck all my um, 
all of my little stickers on there. Even I found some old stickers from an, a previous build, like a, a Core 2 Duo, and just to be silly, I stuck that on there. And then the last thing I did is uh, I bought a little metal hood ornament of a shark and stuck it on there just to be silly. And remember, there are two fans that uh, bring air into the case. I put it right between the two fans so that it doesn't block any of that airflow right there. And so let's turn it on to see it in action. And you can see these uh, two blue LED fans in the front here. You can also see that in this uh, Antec 300 Illusion case there are a couple of nice blue LEDs for that exhaust fan on the top. And I took that side panel off. Let me just stick that on real quickly so you can kind of get an idea of what this what this case is going to look like all closed up. And then we're going to call it a day. go. Put one of these thumb screws on. Hold it. And so now you can get an idea of what the what the whole PC is going to look like inside that that nice case when you're done. And here's the other side. There's nothing really interesting going on on that other side. So again, this has been a fun build. We didn't really have any problems. And I think this is going to be a good computer that ought to last me at least uh, three or four years. I might upgrade it a little bit in between then. So anyway, this is Berkey Academy signing off. Good luck with your own build.